Hi, I'm Chris Norcus. This is Cocktails from Home. Today, we're in for a treat. We are going to showcase the Negroni. So this is one of my all-time favorite cocktails, and I have a lot of bartender friends. It seems to be every bartender's favorite cocktail. So we're going to start with our mixing glass, and we're gonna stir this cocktail. So you can leave your shaker off to the side. We've got three ingredients that we're gonna use today, and there's no mixers, there's no juice, it's all booze, so be careful, this can be a dangerous one. We're gonna start with a sweet vermouth. This is gonna be the sweet component of your drink, and we're gonna do each of our ingredients in a one ounce increment. So I'm gonna use my jigger here and measure out a half ounce, and then another half, which gives me a full ounce. So now we've got our sweet component. We wanna balance this cocktail with something bitter. We've got one of the greatest liqueurs ever created from Milan, Italy, Campari. So this is a very bitter liqueur and we're gonna use an ounce of this also. This is what gives the Negroni its beautiful red color. All right, we're almost there. So now we're gonna move on to our strongest ingredient, which will be gin. Um, so today I'm gonna use a London Dry Gin, which is very juniper forward, but feel free to experiment. If you see a different bottle that you're like, oh, that looks cool, I'll give that one a try. Give it a try, any gin will work here. Um, it's up to your preference. So I've got a half ounce and then a full ounce. And that's all there is to it. All we have to do is kind of stir this up and make sure that we've got a perfectly chilled cocktail. So anytime you're making drinks, you wanna make sure that you have a lot of ice. If you have enough ice to break the surface of the drink, you're doing good. So here we go, we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna use our bartender spoon. These are specifically designed to, to really kind of be easy to stir your drink and keep this rounded side in contact with the glass the whole time. Where does the Negroni get its name from? So it was named after the Count Negroni and he was having a rough day, went to the bar, said, can I get an Americano? An Americano is just Campari and vermouth, a little bit of soda. He said, but it's been a rough day. I need something a little stronger. So the bartender added gin and the Negroni was born. And so good that they had to name it after him. So we've got our perfectly chilled Negroni. We're gonna strain out that ice that's already beginning to melt. So we don't wanna use that in our drink because then we don't wanna water it down any, any further. So we're gonna strain that perfectly chilled Negroni into a rocks glass and add fresh ice. The only thing left to do is add a garnish. So we're gonna take a nice orange peel. So we don't wanna get any of the flesh of the fruit, we just want the skin and maybe a little bit of this white part. And the reason is because in the skin, we've got all those really nice essential oils. We're really just trying to get some aromatics here. We don't wanna get any orange juice. So your appeal should look like this, just the white part there. If you get any of the juice in there, you can give it a little scrape. And now we've gotta get this orange oil out of the skin. So the best way to do that is angle it towards the top of your drink, give it a little pinch, and all that delicious orange oil will kind of rest right on top of the drink. And before you can even taste it, you get that aroma of orange and it all comes together in a delicious cocktail, the Negroni. Cheers. Amazing.